<clears throat> all right guys um, I'm gonna show you something that I use for making decisions with the fields um, this program is called snap plus it's a program we have here in Wisconsin and I'm sure in other states there's something similar um, this program is through DATCAP um, and like I say in your state I would think there's something like this it's it's basically for drawing up a nutrient management plan um, talk to your local NRCS FSA DATCAP and see what they have for your state um, it, may, it might be called snap plus in your state I don't know um, but I was just gonna do a quick overview of this and I was gonna just try and use it on my my camera mount here but I don't think you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing um, so I'm gonna try and hold it as steady as I can but if you <clears throat> look here it's called snap plus up in the top here like right now I'm on the farm page you put in your farm whatever and you have your fields, your soil tests, nutrients, cropping, daily log reports. <clears throat> and then down here on mine I am using second and third year manure credits. Down here you can go through and select all the crops that you grow. And then if you, you would pick a crop, push the arrow over button up it over here. This is your selected crops. This is what will show up in your cropping page when you get to that far <clears throat> um, and then of course you pick your, your county but now we'll click on fields and wait for that page to come up I'm sorry my uh, my laptop is a little slow but now we're on these are the fields over here you have your list of your fields um, your acre size the county it's in the soil type soil name Soil symbol, um, the percent of slope to water, all that fun stuff. Um, <clears throat> so you you put all your fields in here, and then you go to your soil tests. You would import all your soil samples on all your different fields, and as you can see here, it tells you like here it's showing two different soil samples. And I believe on the bottom it averages them out. So 5.6, 5.9, 1 1% organic matter. So you can see what I'm working with on my farm. And this last soil test was taking, taken on the 14th, or two, back in 2014, so it is a little bit older. Um, then it tells you all what your soil tests are. And then you need these in here to, when you get to your cropping part, then here you can click on your nutrients page here I have all my different groups of animals or what I have for nutrients <coughs> excuse me um, down here you can put in your dry fertilizers what they are ammonia sulfate potassium chloride and urea that's what I use um, and over here is a spot for liquid fertilizers if you use those and up here so right now we're on nutrient sources here is production estimator, manure production estimator. Here you'd have all your different animals. <clears throat> you would figure out how big your herd is, basically, and then use you use your simple math or whatever to figure out how many animals and whatnot you have. And then I'll just scan across here quick so you guys can see it. Number of days that you're figuring for each animal, percent of the amount of manure you're collecting, whatnot. And then <clears throat> there's an animal units calculator you can use for doing the math. You could have a grazing herd set up, manure analysis, all that happy stuff. There's the year. And then let's go to cropping. Sorry if my hand is shaking. <clears throat> now we're pulling up the crop page. I am on field 1 1, which is the field that we chopped for corn silage and we left some stand. Um. As you can see, we'll go back a year. In 2015, it was corn grain to small grain cover crop. 
Um, my yield was between 110 to 130 bushel per acre. My tillage, uh, there is no is no tilled cover crop, no till. It gives you all your recommendations here. So for that crop, UW is saying it should have 190 pounds of N, 80 pounds of potash. Um, and then they're adjusted. See, prior year's extra is there, 14. There's only phosphorus left over from the prior year. Um, then UW is adjusted. And then your credits, the year before was had alfalfa on it, so there's 150 pounds of N credit. Second year manure credits, third year manure credits. This year's manure, that's what we applied approximately. And then the bottom, you can see it's over and under. Well, by the end of the year, we were 15 pounds short on nitrogen, and we were 75 pounds surplus on potash. So then this following year, it's you just go and pick what you want for your crop, what you uh, figure your yields are going to be or what your goal is and whatnot, and then it tells you what you should be putting on for fertilizer. Um, it takes... You would go and put in what you're uh, putting on for manure and whatnot. We'll click on this manure, this year's manure or whatever. And as you can see here, you can pick your from your manure source where the manure came from. Um, and then over here you can put in the fertilizer that you put on the field. And then up here it tells you, with what I put on, it's still 54 pounds shy of nitrogen to produce what I put in for what I, my goals were so you would adjust you would you'd put in what you're putting on here come down click the apply and then it would calculate it out for you um, and like you can see it was still short so we were getting some N from some of the clover that was in the cover crop last year so it's not exactly 100 percent perfect um, DATCAP is working on getting more of the cover crops in here to adjust for some of these nutrients. Um, and, and then there's, you can use your daily log up here for like manure that you're putting on the fields and whatnot. You can print out batch reports to make sure that you're NR590 compliant. Over here there's a field where you can figure out a rotation put in there and it'll automatically calculate all your Wrote, you know your rotation for four to well, however many years and then down here at once you get it all fig, filled out and then calculate it it'll figure your average soil loss um, tell you what you need to remove and all this stuff to keep compliant well on my farm we are in part of the state where the glaciers made all these big hills and they're so high in phosphorus no matter what we do, it's always way high in phosphorus. And the idea is to try and remove the phosphorus, which I don't know how you would ever do it. Um, my farm has been neglected for 50 years and never had any fertilizer put on it. So it's been mined pretty hard and it's still extremely high in phosphorus. But this is just a program that I use that helps make decisions with the cropping part of the farm. Um, where to pull manure to, what needs more f fertilizer than other places, um, and that type of thing. So <clears throat> I just want to show you guys this. Um, I took a six-year course through CVTC on farm business production management, and there was an introduction to this in there. And then two winters ago, I took a winter course on this nutrient management class, um, for using the SNAP Plus, figuring out nutrient management plans for the farm. Um, so guys in Wisconsin, you can look this up, and it's a nutrient management class. SNAP Plus is a program. Um, guys around western Wisconsin where CV, CVTC is, you can take the course there. Um, and I'm sure in other parts of the state there's other tech colleges. I don't know all the names of them, but... And then in other states, you guys, if you talk to your NRCS um, or DATCAP, they should be able to set you up with something like this um, or get you in touch with one of the colleges or tech schools that deal with the nutrient management plan. Um, I'd recommend taking the course. This is an awesome program for helping make decisions. Um, and it does a lot of thinking for you. 
So anytime you do something, you just go plug it in here and it, it calculates it all out for you, keeps track of it. So it's just a tool that I use. I wanted to pass it along, share the information with you other guys. This is just a quick brief, this is what it is type of deal. Um, just because there's a lot of guys out there that if you haven't taken a class or know somebody that uses it, you've probably never heard of it. And it's a handy thing to use. There's, and you know, a lot of guys sent me comments that you're just getting into farming or whatever. Well, this program right here, I wish I would have known about it 15 years ago. Um, but it wasn't out 15 years ago. But now that you guys are just getting started, it would be helpful to learn how to use it and have it in your tool belt. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to show you this quick and bring it to your attention that this program is out there. And like I say, in other states probably call something different. Talk to your NRCS, talk to your local tech school, see if they have a nutrient management class, and take the course. It's well worth the money. I mean, it's not very much to take the class. So um, let me know what you guys think. Um, if some of you guys haven't heard of this, if you're in Wisconsin, download the Snap Plus. It's free. Um, play with it. Let me know what you guys think. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.